we tried to come and try to old rest and see if we could find something, but we can't find anything to move in this post-frontal condition. So, um, hey, not a good return. Our wrist still is not quite right. I ain't leaving that, you know, I always forget stuff. Wrist still not quite right, but we getting there. I think in about two weeks, I should be good. And I can start jacking them again and fishing hard right now. You really can't fish too hard. Accuracy is not that great, but we got a chance to get out. Welcome back, Reverend Big John's Backyard Fishing. Uh, it's been a minute, giving on to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Without him, I wouldn't even be out here. But it has been a minute since I've been fishing because of this here right wrist of mine. I got a sprained wrist early in the, uh, actually the beginning of Jan uh, June. And so I haven't really been had a chance to get out here and tried, I did try one time real briefly in Virginia and uh, still was tweaking it trying to find something that was willing to uh, hit down there but was nothing willing to hit so still trying to test how it feels to actually land a fish uh, for my Florida subs I'll be down there next week coming to Orlando coming to Orlando uh, that week of um, July 5th. So, if you around, what is that? If you around, love to collab, do some stuff with you. Let me know. Those who are available, I'll be there for a week. Trying to get on some stuff while I'm there. Since I don't know the lay of the land, you can definitely show me around. Then after that, I'm going to... Uh, Fort Lauderdale area and see if um, I can hook up with some stuff down there as well but it's a lot easier if those who know those who follow me and subscribe I would love to do a collab with you how about that I'm just trying right now it's the heat of the day not the best time not much cover it's a big tree lay down right here and see if anything would come out and grab me so far nothing Trying to throw with this wrist is a little bit challenging. That's why I'm using the wacky. See if anything will just come out and grab. So far, no dice. I tell you, I would love to be out here on my yak, but I haven't been on the yak either because I, I got a pad on my wrist. <laughs> you know, that's that's the issue. So I haven't done nothing, man. I'm, I'm fiending over here. I can tell you that much. I'm fiending for a tight line. So Florida, hopefully you can hook me up. Because uh, whether it hurt or not, I'm coming to fish, y'all. Uh-oh, a fish just went for it, but he didn't take it. So maybe it's the color. I definitely just saw a fish swipe for it. I thought one more time out to his spot. I can definitely change. I always like to put my Cheeto in this clear water because for some reason it seems to produce. At that time, he spit the Cheeto out just as fast as he had put it in. He spit it out. I can't really let it fall too much into those trees. Got him. Oh, nice for two. He got me. Oh, look at him. He got me. I got, look y'all, I got eight pounds set. He got me in the tree. I need him to come out though. Come on. Don't break it. Oh, come on. He's a good one. He's a good one. He got me. Y'all can see he got me. 
got a hold of it. I'm going to wrap this up all the way around that tree and I'm not going to get it. Come on. There we go. Come on. Observe. Way to come back and risk hell. But I still got to get him up with this eight pound test. There we go. Y'all know I don't like to drag my fish, so let's see if I can't get them. Let's take a look at that. Nice little two pounder right here. I thank you, sir. I really appreciate you. You are my first tight line since the beginning of this month. I'm afraid with this bad wrist, he jumped out of my hand, so he's a little bit muddy. See if we can't get him back in, though. There you go. Sorry for all that. Thank you, sir. Swimming away nice and fine. Yeah, I hate, hate getting this lime coat messed up. Hook was a little deeper than I expected on it. Not in the gut, but on the back of the tongue, and I had to really get down there to get it. All right, we can race slide on up out of here, but as always, it's Reverend Big John. Always remember, keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless. I'll see you next time on the water. It should be in Florida. But you never know. This wrist starting to feel a little bit better. So, you might see me out soon.